the, the galena diode or mineral type diode didn't have much use other than maybe a laboratory curiosity until the invention of radio. Radio had to wait for the invention of first the light bulb by Edison and then it was found that by inserting a third wire or plate into the Edison light bulb or vacuum tube, they created a vacuum diode, or as it was once known, a thermionic valve. It turns out that electrons could be literally boiled off the surface of the hot filament and then absorbed by the plate, allowing an electric current to flow through the vacuum. The current there from the filament to the plate was a, a stream of electrons, which means that the current itself from a positive direction was from the plate to the filament, but it did act as a diode and was then uh, able to be used for converting alternating current to DC current to charge batteries and things like that in the early 1900s. Later, with the inventors uh, DeForest, for example, and Fleming, by the addition of additional components in the vacuum tube, they were able to create amplifiers, oscillators, and thus was born the age of electronics and radio, which then went into closed-circuit television, broadcast television, all manner of electronics. Here's an example of one of the early thermionic diodes. In fact, the interesting thing is many old people in the UK may still refer to vacuum tubes as valves. The analogy still holds today. Much of these uh, vacuum tube types diodes have been replaced by modern semiconductor diodes of which there are many varied types. Some of these are very small, microscopic in fact, given the uh, modern electronics. Others of them uh, emit light and from which we get the term LED or light emitting diode. Others are the size of hockey pucks because they have to get rid of a certain amount of heat, heat being the enemy of semiconductors. Others can be used as detectors and uh, all manner of even like microwave detectors, microwave emitters, and things like that. In our uh, class, we'll be covering basically the signal diode, a rectifier diode, and the light emitting diode. Light-emitting diodes, by the way, are now such that they can emit wavelengths from infrared through just about any color you want, all the way up to ultraviolet, and uh, with combinations of colors are what gives us uh, a lot of our modern uh, TV screens and uh, large displays, which are capable of displaying just about any color you can imagine. This is a more recent invention, just in the last few decades, and has made possible many of the great inventions that we now take for, uh, take for granted.